Hola, hola, hola. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And I'm here with a planner that I haven't checked in um, with on camera for a while. This is my gardening planner. I'm a huge gardener, urban farmer, love to garden. Garden is my happy place. I haven't checked in with this in a bit and I just need to get back into here. Today, Wednesday, February the 8th, I actually spent a good amount of time in my garden because I am taking most of the week off this week. I did recently have surgery. I had surgery on Friday last week and so I set aside this entire week to take off in case I needed to take it off. And I did take off like a good amount of time Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm going to go into the office and Friday as well. But the first couple of days of the week, I was here at home and I did work, you know, remotely here and there, answered some emails and such. But mostly I was, you know, taking it chill, taking the time off, focusing on healing and recovery. And I'm so happy um, today. I was able to spend a lot of time in my garden. It's been a while since I've been out there. We've had a lot of rain here in Southern California. And so I just really wasn't out there for the last couple of weeks because we had so much rain and my garden was in absolute disarray. Right now I have nothing in my garden. I have three um, pretty large in-ground beds. Um, in my big backyard where I tend to do all of my gardening. I also have a bunch of container pots with herbs, cactus, succulents, flowers, snake plant, you name it. All my containers were in disarray. My in-ground beds were in disarray. They were covered in weeds. Um, and so today I spent a lot of time in the garden. I was super inspired with how sunny it is and the fact that we're not expecting rain here in Southern California for a while. So I just was in the mood to get out there and I did a bunch of work. We went to the nursery as well, picked up fresh dirt. I grabbed a succulent, of course, some flowers, um, some potting mix, and I just spent a good amount of time out there today and I had just the best time. I love working in my garden. Anyway, I got super motivated to get back into my gardening happy planner and I really need to set up <laughs> um the spread for this month but first off a quick little flip through of my planner so this cover is actually from the happy planner gardening planner so it's perfect for me this um cover though is i believe from a undated vertical planner that's not gardening specific. I'm kind of combining like two different planners to make my gardening planner. I'm combining this um, gardening planner from the Happy Planner, which was kind of like a vertical style planner, but it's like tailored specifically for gardening. And then I'm combining with that a undated vertical planner. So this was actually a spread I did last year um, to kind of keep track of what I was um, sowing and just like the different stages of the plant's life. Actually, this was a bummer. All of my plants died <laughs> because I really wasn't taking care of them, but I still like how this turned out. So I left it in there. And then, and then this here is supposed to be just like a divider between um, where the planner actually starts and extra pages I have in the front. I need a like label that and I need to cover this up but that's a project that I'm still working on. I have recommended planting dates for San Diego here tucked into my little folder and then how I structure this planner, I use what I call a rolling monthly layout where um, each divider stands for a season. So this is spring 2022. And then for the planner guts, I'm using that undated vertical style, but how I'm using it is I'm treating each box as a particular day. So we're looking at three weeks at a time for each weekly spread. And I do not use the monthly spreads um, as they're traditionally used because this is pretty much somewhere between a monthly and a weekly. I find that having a weekly planner um, for gardening is a little bit too fast paced for me and having the monthly is a little bit too slow paced for me and so having this happy medium 
um where i treat each box as a day is really is really the perfect bed in for my goldilocks heart and then just like any other planner some weeks i'm in this planner some weeks i'm not really um so this is an example of a time in my life that i was not really in this planner some things i like to do is add like seed packets of packets i've finished into um my planner and add photos of the vegetables i've you know harvested this is an example of um, a time that i really was in my planner here i print out photos of all my vegetable Ooh, this is when i was really harvesting a lot of this early white bush scallop squash oh my goodness i got sick of this squash i was so tired of it at the end um my basil was popping i harvested a lot of cucumbers last year and then i pickled them this is my first time pickling cucumbers and then here my basil was just so fantastic last year me and my mom made a pesto look at all these squash that i harvested last year and then i finished my black beauty eggplant seed packet here and then this was supposed to be summer 2022 and this was me like playing around with what i wanted to use these gardening project pages for still trying to figure it out um but honestly summer i was not really in my gardening planner and i didn't really start journaling until september i grew a lot of tomatoes um around this time so that's amazing and then here i just added a seed packet and some stickers before we moved into fall and then fall is when i really started getting back into my planner um, i was harvesting a lot of eggplant and tomatillos around this time i made this spread i love this spread so much and then in november i was in my planner as well i i sowed a lot of seeds um, around this time and then and then beginning of December I was kind of in my planner but not too much and then this is December 18th right here and then that's when I stopped really working in my planner and the rest of the pages here are blank and so these are what the pages look like when they're you know empty and ready to be filled this is just a, an undated vertical here Oh, here are some pages actually that I want to move to the front. Um, these pages right here, I might pop them in the front right here. So this is a little raised bed budget half sheet. Um, me and my boyfriend were planning to make raised beds. My boyfriend actually made one for me already that's out in the backyard right now. And I've already um, transplanted some seedlings into there. So we were just kind of um making a budget for how much making a raised bed would cost and then this here is just my seedling legend i guess you would say i have three like seed starter packs um two smaller ones and then one larger one and i planted a bunch of seeds on in november like at the end of november a lot of my cool season seeds like daikon beets celery arugula leek cabbage fennel rainbow chard bok choy and um these are the ones that i'm currently transplanting into my in-ground beds and my raised beds at this point point. and it's nice to have like a sheet like this like detailing what i sewed because sometimes i'll forget especially if i'm planting like more than five or six crops i'm really sad though because these guys are fine but this guy right here absolutely um got a bit neglected it was raining a lot off and on um, for the last couple of weeks and so i wasn't really paying too much attention to them because it was raining i wasn't really um, watering them and then i guess i left this one out um, too many days without water i thought that it was wet enough because of the rains to go a couple of days and then when i checked on it it was like 90 percent of it had died i still have some i think daikon left but everything else i think has perished and so i'm really sad about this probably gonna have to start this one completely over again but at the very least i have a lot of veg from these two so let me tuck that in there i also have some um just plain grid paper filler paper that i want to tuck into here because i find that i really like this plain grid paper 
to set up my like seed starter kit legends so i'm gonna tuck that up there in the front and what i need to do today is just really get back into um my gardening planner so i'm thinking what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up february here like i'm going to start with february and set up these two pages here and maybe even these two pages as well like i'm thinking of setting up the entire month of february at a time um i think that's what i'm gonna do I think I'm gonna leave these pages blank. First, I thought I was gonna glue them together, but I'm thinking I might save these pages as like places to put photos of my garden and all my veg. So I think I'll leave those there for now. And then we'll just start here. And I think I'm gonna set up the entire month of February. It is the 8th, but I am going to set up from the 1st onwards. Um, just because I kind of want it to be, you know, kind of complete. And I'm gonna use my new Essential Dates and Numbers sticker book. Um, shout out to my friend Ethan who got this for me for Christmas. I'm so excited to use it. Usually I use stamps to like set up the numbers like so. Um, but I actually want to try this sticker book out and I'm feeling kind of lazy with the stamps So we're just gonna use this guy and I'm thinking of maybe <gasps> I'm thinking of maybe using these numbers or should I use these hearts? Because it's like February. Ugh, I think I might use these actually. These are so fun Okay, let's use these So I'm just going to set up the dates, maybe write February here at the top, and then um, I'll see what else I get into. Okay, there we go. It is done. I've decided with this gardening planner that I am going to stop at the end of the month, like on a spread like this. So for example, February ends on the 28th, and usually before, I used to start off um, March the 1st or the next month, right after the last date. So I would start March the 1st here, and then I would go on. But I've decided to um, actually just stop the spread at this point, and then just start March the 1st on the next page. I think that actually gives me a little bit more wiggle room to decorate and to write notes and to play around with the spread, because honestly, um, Although I do like having three weeks at a time like this, it does at times like seem like too small of a space for three weeks and so I do appreciate having a little bit of wiggle room um, either like at the beginning of the spread or at the end of the spread to kind of stretch out a little bit and I thought it would just be a nice clean finish um, to kind of separate the months so that way it's very obvious when a month ends. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write February here at the top with my mild liner. February, and I'll write 2023, and I'll repeat that on the other side here. Oops, that Y was super wonky. Write 2023. Actually, let me do a little heart there. That's super cute. February. Ah. I'm gonna have to take out some pages out of this planner because it's getting a little bit hard to turn the pages. Okay, pulling for my gardening sticker book and I want to, ooh, look at this sticker right here, the listed out sticker. I think it'd be fun to put this here on the side for a running to-do list. Um, I think it'd be really fun to grab like a full box. Ugh, this is like a little bit too big. Honestly, don't want to use those. Okay, let's see, what else, what else? Um, I'm actually going to use one of these circle stickers to mark out that today um, I had a major day in the garden. Where's my pen? Let's see, major garden day. Um, and today I'm gonna transplant, well today I pulled the weeds, so I'm gonna put a pull weed sticker here. And then I also water 
So I'm gonna put another watering sticker there. And then, let's see, I kinda want a transplant sticker. I'm sure there's a transplant sticker around here. Let's see, there has to be. Here we go, there's gotta be one here. Garden planning, seed shopping. I actually did go seed shopping. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna little check mark, do a little black back planning. I did purchase some Roma tomatoes, and then I also purchased some cherry tomato seeds. Um, we also soil prepped um, today, so I'm just gonna add that there. Okay, so we did prep the soil. Um, let's see, start seedlings. I do need to start some seedlings. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, let's put this, um, let's add this here. Oh, see what I'm saying? That um, I don't have a lot of room, actually. I'll add this seedling, start seedlings there. I'm gonna start some seedlings today, but um, I, it didn't happen the 6th, it happened the 8th. Oh well, that's fine. Farmer's Market, visit nursery. We did visit the nursery, so I kind of want to put this here. Um, I like doing a little bit of back planning at times. Let's see, direct sow seeds, planting day, fertilize and feed, first harvest. Um, I'm gonna do planting day. And let me see if I can put this here. Planting day. And actually, um, I'm gonna also put a planting day on the fifth because that is when we um, transplanted to the raised bed, the first raised bed that we built. Okay. Okay. And I did water today, so I'll put a little watering icon there. And um, I do want to make a note of all of the um, changes that I did for my container pots. I have so many container pots. Um, and sometimes I like to make a note of when I transplanted them. So I transplanted or repotted, I guess. Um, is the correct way to say it. Okay, I think that's all that I repotted. I also bought a flower. I bought a flower at the nursery. So I'm gonna add this little box here. And then let's see, bought, I bought two things. I bought a, a white flower. And then I also bought a succulent. I really need to be better at knowing the names of the different succulents that I have because whenever I write about the succulents in my planner or I want to write them down or tell someone, um, oh, like water this one, move that one. If I ever, if I ever want to give directions about the succulents, I honestly don't know how to like describe them or specify them because I have so many. Oh, I really just need to like take a moment, go outside and um, identify my succulents. And ah, that totally um, reminds me that I should maybe write that down as um, a to-do. So succulent, succulent identification. Maybe I should make like a like a spread where I take pictures of all of my succulents and then identify them and then just like have like a gallery in my planner. I really like that idea. So succulent identification. Okay, um, let's see. What are some things left to do? I need to transplant or I guess repot um, is the better term. The snake plant. I need to water the parsley. I need to clean the pots of the the three 
sisters. I have three little succulents and three little pots and they all kind of like fit together on one little tray and then the pots say plant game strong and I really don't know what else to call those succulents besides the three sisters but their pots are really dirty like on the outside and I need to clean them so that needs to happen. Transplant um seedlings or sprouts I guess is the better term for them and then plant or sow I guess is the better sow seeds there we go that's the list of things that I need to do love it love it love it and I saw like a to-do list around here that I kind of want to use this one right here. Let me pull this out. I think I could put this right here for any other to-dos that may arise during this time. I think at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some boxes and some decorative stickers here and there and, um, and then call it a day. So let's see. I kind of want to finish this gardening sticker book. It's one of these sticker books that uh, I'm close to finishing, so maybe if I add some stickers here and there for decoration. I also have my Flower Power Mega Sticker Book that it would be fun to pull for um, some stickers. Like these full boxes are really cute. I wonder if I can add one like right there. Cute. Okay, for washi tape, I think I'll use my Simply Gilded pink washi with the gold um, dots on it. Super cute. I should have grabbed some washi from my like washi tape storage, some like floral washi tape, and I'm too lazy to go get it right now. So I think we're just going to go with this washi, which I have on hand. Let's see, I'm going to have to cut this piece. Now at this point, I'm just adding decoration. I don't really have like any plans for some of these boxes here, but I'll just fill them in as things pop up. Okay, this is the finished spread and I love how it turned out. It's getting me back in the mood to be in my gardening planner and I'm just really looking forward to seeing how my garden grows in the coming months. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today. I really appreciate it. If you're a gardener, let me know what you're growing in your garden or what you're planning to grow. I would love to know. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay blessed and happy planning. Bye.